for today's video, I wanted to do an updated cage tour. And the cage that I have is the Coronation Single Unit. So I'm just going to get started. Oh, hi, Remy. You checking out your new hammock? Do you like the pirate ship? <laughs> I like, Mommy, I'm trying to get some rest here. Yeah. And let's see, Oliver. Are you in your spud, Nick? Do you like that a lot? Yeah, is that your favorite spot to seep? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so I'm just going to get started here at the bottom. And right at the bottom corner, I have a chinchilla chiller. And then right over here, I have um, a corn husk. I'm not exactly sure what it's called, but it did come with a pack of three different toys. Um, that one was included, and then this one, and then also had like a bunny too. Um, but I just have that here, and they absolutely love this toy. <laughs> um, and then right over here, I have a half-eaten apple stick. And then this is one of those foraging toys that came with the pack with that one. You can put treats right on in there. And then I just have a willow ball with a bell in it. And then I have another apple stick. They really enjoy chewing on sticks. Were you biting your hammock? No, don't do that. <laughs> oh. All right, good night, Remy. <laughs> um, and then, back over here, I just have a corner hammock. And then it's kind of dark, I'm not sure if you guys can see. But right here I have just a willow um, bend bridge. And then right over here I have a little kind of tucked away hammock. And back there I have the litter pan. And the litter that I use is non-scented or non-lotion Kleenexes. And for them, I just tore it up a bunch. Um... And they're pretty good with being litter trained. More better during playtime than in the cage, but we're working on being litter trained. Um, and then over here on the door, I just have a bird toy. And then right up here, I just have a little hammock. And then over at this door here, I have um, a treat kebab. And this is a large one. And then up here, I just have their food dish and then the water dish. Oliver prefers to drink out of the water dish. He's kind of finicky with the water bottles. Um, so I have this here for him. You can go join your brother in the pirate ship. Yeah. Hi. Hi, Oliver. You say hello? Oh, hello. <laughs> I just... Oh. Okay, it's bedtime. <laughs> I just cleaned their cage, so they're just finished exploring everything. Oh dear. <laughs> what happened? Did you not want that in there? <laughs> um, another little tip I have, if your rats really like to chew on hammocks, which these boys started to, I just put a bunch of nesting material in the hammocks, and then they just can close up the doors they, how they want, and they really prevent them from chewing on the hammocks. So... That's my little tip with if you guys like to chew on hammocks. Um, but anyways, over here I have a um, Planet Petco brand chew. And then I just have their green tunnel tube here. And I have two chinchilla ledges that go up to this corner hammock. And then over here I have two glass water bottles. Um, and then um, over, I have some baby links hanging right around here. Here I have a Spudnik, and this is probably Oliver's favorite spot to sleep. Then I just have a bunch of nesting material in there for him. And then over here I have um, their pirate ship hammock, which I think they both are in there. <laughs> They're ready for bed. <laughs> and then over here I just have um, their large igloo with a bunch of nesting material in. And then back here I have a crinkle hammock, and I think actually Remy's in here. Remy, are you in there? You want to say hi? Oh, you going to come? Oh, hi, pretty boy. Well, hello, dear. Hi. Are you sleeping? <laughs> they just had playtime, so they're ready to go to bed. Um, but this is his favorite spot to sleep, but I have either of the Spudnik or the crinkle hammocks out. They get very upset and they wonder where they are, so I try to keep those in every time because that's their favorite spots to sleep. Hi, Oliver. <laughs> um, but yeah, that is my updated cage tour, and I'll just kind of do an overview of my cage. 
And then I will show you guys what I have um, underneath the cage for like storage wise. And then these are my storage bins and I got them at Walmart. And then in this one here, oh I have to say hi to you because you're so cute. Hi Oliver. <laughs> um, over here, um, I just have hammocks and stuff and beds in here. That's what I have here. And then underneath here I also have more beds and more stuff. I ran out of room for all the stuff that you guys have. You guys are very spoiled, aren't you? Yeah. They're so cute. They're so fun to watch, too. <laughs> yeah, you guys are so silly. And then over here, um, I just have, I got this little dustpan at Walmart. Um, perfect for if your boys crumb a lot or make messes with the toys. It's so easy to sweep off the fleece in here um, for, like, doing your spot cleaning. And then in this container here, um, I just have a bunch of toys, chew toys, baby links in here. Um, just a lot of toys and stuff. And then over at this one here, I have um, just, they don't just get tap water, I give um, bottled water um, for fluoride reasons. We have a lot of fluoride in our water, so I just have a water bottle here for them. Um, treats, I store pretty much everything in glass jars. And then they got yogurt drops, um, banana treats in here, and then just their main food, which I feed them Oxbow Regal Wrap food. That's what I have underneath their cage. But do you guys want to say bye? Want to say bye, Oliver? You're so cute. Yes. <laughs> and should we say bye to Remy? Bye, Remy. Oh, you guys are so cute. <laughs> They're ready for bed. <laughs> I'll just do one last overview of my cage. But thank you guys so much for watching. And if you guys have any requests on videos, um, please comment them below.